So we are here in the Amazon warehouse. This is the jail, the downtown jail. Also, hello. Hello, Zomboid friends. Criminal Archer here. Um, we need to get more ammo. We're a little low on ammo. The closest place to get it is going to be this jail. It's a little bit of a danger. We'll see if we can pull it off, but we've burned a big chunk of the zombies right in this vicinity, so we might be able to push in. I think that's the plan for today. Also, the consensus seems to be from the comments that we are pro-balloon, so we will be keeping the balloon for the time being. Let's take a car to get closer. Alright, I guess I'll leave it, like, here. I want to get it too close or it's going to get trapped somehow. I've also got a new axe. No longer of the pick variety, but still an axe. Can't go wrong with that. There's a zombie behind me. I saw him coming out of the building. We were coming past. I guess that was that guy. That fence right there blocks the, uh, this is the jail. It's the beginning of the jail right there. So, you know, there's just a few zombies between here and there. <laughs> is there still fire up the block? There is. I wonder if we can get those zombies. Need to be careful, though. I really don't want the prison to burn down. The jail, whatever it is. Careful. I'm going to actually need to collect all of these zombies so that none of them can get away. Because otherwise they're going to wander off and start that building burning and that would be tragedy. So a good little store right there to get some food. We can keep that from burning down. <laughs> down around the corner now. I was gonna stop with this guys, but this group is clearly coming to join us, so um so I guess we'll just get bigger and go deal with all as many of these zombies over here as I can. Let's uh let's ring the bell, huh? Knock, knock. <laughs> oh, I just filled that, that that building was not actually full yet. Okay, wow, this okay. This got a lot bigger all the day of a sudden. 
I thought we'd already triggered this building, but we had not. So now there is a lot more zombies to deal with. Okay. Let's go back in here for now, huh? Oh, the lag. The lag. This may have been a mistake. Worst case scenario, I can jump the fence and get out of here. If it wasn't for the fact that I do really need the ammo that's available inside this building, I might just burn it down, but um, I really do need to get in there. <laughs> Cleared out sort of half of the first building here. Let's go collect some more zombies, huh? <laughs> I'm sure this will go great. Everybody get out on the streets. Out on the streets is where it's at. You now this hanging out inside buildings. Let's make sure we get through before this door closes. All right. Here's a, here's a spot where I'm potentially going to lose control of the situation in terms of the fire. So let's try and do as good a job as I can to not have that happen. Keep the group as tight as possible. Everybody moving in the proper direction. To circle back. Okay, go and come to this sound. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. It worked out okay, but that was too tight. All right, let's get back in, in the field. Almost let things get out of control there. So chain link fences don't seem to burn anymore. They used to burn. I mean, it's good. I prefer that they don't, but um, it's just kind of a weird. I don't I don't remember when they changed that. Used to burn and then turn into burned wall, burned wooden walls, which is kind of funny. Let's take what we have left of this group and not try and work with this because it's getting late, but um, head back towards the car with it. There seems to be a, a, some zombies that have wandered in. I can just barely see them on the edge of the uh, mini-map that we will deal with when we get down there. I don't have to be as careful down there either because the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, those buildings are already on uh, scorched out. so. Try not to lose too many people. 
Don't want them wandering off and causing problems. If you're wondering about this, like, S shape that I'm moving, it's to keep the zombies in the back interested. Because the, the ones in the back start to sort of wander off, but as long as I'm doing this, like, less move, it keeps them interested, because they can see me better. Um, so it keeps the group nice and tight. Almost there. Just a few more. It's been a long day of nothing but burning zombies. I didn't quite expect it to be so long because I thought we had already activated the zombies inside the uh, police station. Which we had not, so. Now, the one of the buildings I've probably gotten now cleared out enough that we can go in and try and do something. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it's enough for me to give it a shot. But the northern building, I don't know where the armory is in the building. I, it, it's, it, I know it's in there somewhere, but maybe there's multiples. But I've actually never successfully spent any amount of time in that uh, police station, so I don't really know where the the useful things are. Been in there once or twice, but it usually it results in death. <laughs> or just a quick get in and go, oh god, there's a lot of zombies in here, and then leave. Oh, hello zombie. I don't know where you came from. Follow me home if you want. I'll give you the proper smashing. Yeah, so, so there's the flyover right here. This building is probably empty to the point where we can at least attempt to, to get inside for a bit. This area is still pretty hot, so we'll see. We'll see what we can do tomorrow. Alright, a new day. A new uh, round of... Oops, don't do that. New round of zombies to, to deal with. Let's go back and see if we can actually get in that building. I always love the random one zombies that show up. It's like, hey, what you doing? I heard this was the cool spot. Hey, you. Probably should have brought the shotgun. Probably a good idea, but oh well. I don't have one in the back, do I? Just a tarpaulin. Zombies moving down from the north. Expand to fill the empty space. Alright. Stop. This is probably a fool's errand, but we're gonna try it anyways. Hello, zombies. Not off to a great start. <laughs> there we go. First swing of the day is a miss. Not really a great start. This is going to be one of those situations where we just have a constant flow of a couple of zombies at me. They keep pulling off here. At least we got a, build, a weapon that can take them out pretty fast. Useful. You got the bulletproof vest, which we're not wearing, right? Can't remember if we're wearing bulletproof vest or not. Oh no, we got the military one from from old dad, but it's a little damaged, so let's swap it out. I assume there is 
basically the same. Alright, I'm gonna circle around this way. Come in kind of the middle area. There are a few less zombies around. How many stories this building is? There's at least two. Hey, zombies. Oh, I got that one. If I can find a cubicle wall, we can set up ourselves a, a little, uh, Smashing zone. Those are always nice. Anybody else coming? And I'm in. Just poke my head out there, let them know I'm here. <laughs> Step back outside, wait for them to come. So the trick with smashing zombies and not getting, um, slammed. Or at least improving your odds of not getting slammed. Is to watch for your character to look down. As that, uh... As they come out the window. They'll come out the window and fall down and then if you swing too early you'll just swing over them. But your character will look, uh, look towards the ground. That's when it's the right time to to do it. Alright, just a few of you, please. Thank you. Those should still be dismantling watches. I don't have a lot of need for electronics over to one. Mostly just to try and get to the point where we can hotwire our cars, but... It was nice to have a little bit higher skill. Be working towards a thing. Alright. Scared of going inside. Found a lot of cigarettes already. Um, I don't like that it looks like those zombies are coming around behind me. Yep, there they are. <laughs> Let's, let's try this. Flashlight turned on. Okay, let's back out. Flashlight off, please. Let's back out. All right, we're okay. Anything else? I think somebody's gonna come out the other window too. Yep. I missed. It's okay. 
Okay. We got it covered. Alright, so they've shifted around the outside of the building, so I guess we'll deal with them. Take a break. What's our like fitness level, anyways? I mean, it's level eight. Pretty good. Kind of want to use a long blunt weapon just to get that last little bit to take over to level three. All right, so somebody in here? Looks like there is, unless they're upstairs. Yeah, so this part of the building is just two stories. Hello. Let's, let's wait for them to break it. Where did you come from? All right. Goodbye. Zombies. It's just a broken door. Zombies circle on the fence. They must have seen me through the fence and they're going the long way around. So I should be able to just back off and stand here and they'll come to me. Just got distracted by something else. I wonder. I've never actually known for sure. Do you get more rest sitting in a car than you do standing? It's, you should, but I actually don't know if it's true or not. <laughs> I'm 36. Excuse me, zombies. Just found those M36 bullets. I'm kind of tempted to use them. They're pretty quiet, so they shouldn't draw too many, too many extra zombies here. All right, let's, go. let's do it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Eh, not as quiet as I thought, judging from the shifting of the dots inside the building. That's well, okay. Gotta kill them eventually anyways. Move here, we're getting ourselves trapped in a corner. I think this might be the last five bullets we have. Yes, yeah, the last five bullets we have. Alright, back to the old fashioned way. Give me a little bit of gave me a little bit of a break so we can 
start hacking again. Luckily, the uh, the path from the next thing over to me, the path from here to here is too complicated for them to figure out right now, so they're just not bothering. <laughs> I should check those zombies, actually. A couple of them looked like um, the private detective zombies that have a tendency to have a M36 on them. I remember where I killed them. Pretty sure I killed one over here. Yeah, this guy right here. There was another one somewhere. I know there were two of them because I saw two of them in, a, in their little uh, in their little hats. I think this is mostly like the civilian side of the police station, the administrative side. So I don't know if we're gonna find any shooty shooty rooms up here on this side. Shooty shooty room, of course, being the, the technical term for an armory. Try not to use the jargon in the future. Yeah, it's outside coming this way. No. Oh, maybe. The balloon just scared me, by the way. the bathroom no it does have a, a place to fill my water though which is what I was really looking for Question becomes, do I want to risk going upstairs? I feel like if there is an armory in this building, it's gonna be upstairs. But that's also where the flyover to the next building is, which means there's a higher chance of the endless stream of zombies. And eh, we'll go upstairs, why not? Why does this look like the light's on? This is just the amount of light coming in through the window. Seriously, looks like the light is working. Yeah, there's the fly over to the next building. Which I am a little bit afraid of. I'm trying to get them to go over the fence. Nope, not gonna do it. Sometimes you can get them to go over the, the railing. Also, it very much looks like there's not going to be an armory in this side of the building. Which is kind of what I expected. But I thought maybe we'd get lucky. is all stuff for the office. Making it work though. Kind of surprised at how much uh, success we're having here cleaning this room up. Right, let's get a cigarette smoked. We're going to have to do some fighting on our way out because there's a group right there at the end of the uh, exit path. Right, 
All right, let's make our exit if we can. We're probably actually gonna have to fight both these groups because this group's gonna see me through the fence. Which actually, see if I can set off right now. Oh, I could jump, jump, and then I wouldn't have to fight the guy in the front. Might do that, actually. I'm starting to get sleepy, which is never a good time for doing zombie stuff. Just jump here, we'll jump over the other side. I'd like to hit that, um, if, if it's not full of zombies, that convenience store there at the edge. Get some more food for the house. Cross the crosswalk, because I'm a good citizen. Look how busy that is. <laughs> Unlocked? Hey! Oh, hello. So the zombies are coming. Next! Oh, hello. A lot of candy. Candy's not going anywhere. I'm not gonna worry about the candy. To, to say that I'm going to eat some right now. <laughs> Apparently this place is all about the candy. I think this back area here where most of the dots are that we can see right now are, is actually the, um, the cell blocks. So we might not even need to go back there. Take the stuff and then. Um, there's a lot of zombies showing up all of a sudden. Excuse me. I don't know where all you guys all came from, but I don't like it. Excuse me. Um, yeah. Uh, I might leave the car here today. <laughs> I'm too tired right now. I don't really want to fight this many zombies. So we'll leave the car here for the for the evening. I use the houses to to lose them. Yeah, it seemed to work pretty well. And we're back safe and sound. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop. Come on, go. There you go. We'll stop here for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. We'll push into the prison or the uh, police area, jail. Whatever you want to call it, as soon as we can. Thanks so much for joining me. See you later.